Hi there, this is Seth Lake with the Arkansas Flight Safety Cooperative Team. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how to download and use the four flight overlays that we have posted to our website, arflightsafety.com. I'm going to show you how to do this in both Safari and Chrome because I feel like those are probably the two most common browsers that people are using. So this first one is Safari. So you're going to start by going to our website, arflightsafety.com. And we'll start with the C-130 operations overlay. So simply tap on the button and it'll give you the option to download. Select download. Up at the top of the screen, you've got the little down arrow. That means that something's been downloaded. So you're going to tap on that and you're going to view uh, the data. So this is what it looks like in your actual um, downloads folder of your iPad. This next part, you're just going to long press the folder. So don't tap on it because that'll unzip it. But if you long press it, you have the option to share. So you're going to tap share, and for flight should be an option on your app menu. You might have to scroll across to find it, but we're just going to tap on for flight. That's going to download and install the content pack to for flight. So now you simply press view and you can view all of the information that you just downloaded into your uh, in your content packs in your custom content section of ForeFlight right there. Now to use this data we go over to our map um, tab of ForeFlight then go up to your overlay selector then scroll down to the bottom uh, if you're like me you've got a lot of layers here most people probably don't have this many layers, but if you do, it'll be down at the bottom. And we can now select all of the layers we just downloaded and interact with them on our map. So these layers are giving you some common C-130 routes that are in the local area. It may work better if we turn off the sectional. So if we just look at the native for flight uh, base map, it gives a pretty good view. We've got some text descriptions of these different routes as well as um, a depiction of where the routes are and uh, their approximate width. So that just gives you an idea of our most common training routes here in the Arkansas River Valley. Now real quick, let me show you how to do it on Chrome because it's a little bit different. So same website, tap on C-130 operations. Uh, tap download. This one makes it easier. Chrome makes it easier because you just tap open in and you can just simply open in for flight and it does the same thing. So it's a little bit easier to do if you're using Chrome as a browser to download that content pack. Uh, the other content pack that we have, I'll go ahead and show you that while we have these up, are the local airfields content pack. So the local airfields, that's a work in progress. We're working to make that uh, bigger and better. But right now, I'll show you some of the information that we have available. So I'm going to deselect all the C-130 information, and I'm going to select, uh, let's do Conway and Russellville. So here's our Conway and Russellville training areas, as well as a depiction of the extended center line uh, for the instrument approaches that go into both, uh, both of those airports. So the, uh, the purpose behind this is ideally local pilots will be able to identify, hey, I'm in the northeast northwest, southwest, southeast practice area at these fields, or uh, you might be transiting through those practice areas. So we'll be working with local pilots to identify uh, the common training areas, and uh, we'll also be working with local pilots to identify any text that might need to be added. So already I've added some text to places like Arkadelphia. So let's go down and look at the Arkadelphia text. So the Arkadelphia text I've added in there that Henderson State is a, a Part 141 school that flies there a lot. Uh, I've got their practice areas depicted. I can add, I've got some test, uh, just notional text there, uh, just to show what we can do. Um, but there's just some generic information about Arkadelphia there. Uh, I've also added some text for Russellville. So this would be kind of an example of uh, text that we could add for your local airport. And it's really just a way where we can get some of the information uh, that's found in the chart supplement, uh, but it might be more of local knowledge. We can get that added and make it really easy to interact with on your map section of ForeFlight. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, helpful, and feel free to reach out with any suggestions. Thanks.